What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks blog. So are you among those iPhone users who are facing battery drain or poor battery backup after you have updated your iPhone to iOS 18? Well, if yes, in this video, I'm going to tell you some of the tips which I have been personally using to get best battery life out of my iPhone and of course some personal recommendations too. So make sure you watch this video till the end because I don't want you to miss out on any crucial tip or trick which might help you to stop battery drain on your iPhone. So, I want to start off with something that is fairly simple but most users tend to forget about because we have what's called an automatic app update feature. Now even if you have automatic app update feature enabled, you want to head to the app store and then tap on your account and over here you will have all the app present which have update available. So my suggestion would be that you make sure to update all the app because there might be a bug or a glitch present in the older version of the app which might not be suitable for iOS 18 and this is the reason I am requesting you to update all the app present on your iPhone. Next, I want to talk about haptics on keyboard. Now, I know a lot of you guys really like haptic feedback on keyboard, but even Apple themselves mentioned that having the haptics enabled may drain the battery of your iPhone a little quicker. So in order to turn off haptics off your keyboard, you need to go into the settings, scroll down, choose sound and haptics, again scroll down. Now in keyboard feedback, make sure you toggle off haptic. And this will disable haptic feedback on your keyboard and you will save a bit amount of battery as well. Now another thing I want to talk about is AirDrop because I know most users don't really use Bring device to get the feature which allows you to share something via AirDrop by bringing two iPhones closer. I don't think I have ever seen anyone using that feature and my friend that particular feature also drains battery on your iPhone so let's turn it off. So all you need to do is just Open settings app, go in general, airdrop and make sure you toggle off bring device together. Next, I want to talk about live activities. Basically, live activities are interactive notifications on your lock screen of your iPhone. So if you have live activities enabled, sometimes for food delivering services or restaurants, this is something that can actually drain battery of your iPhone. So if you want to turn it off, you need to go into the settings, scroll down, select apps and you need to go into that specific app which sends you live activity. So I'm going to select blink it and make sure you toggle it off. So repeat the process for all those apps from which you don't want live activities and you will save battery as well. Now, something else that I've noticed has improved the battery life for me personally is turning off wallpaper for always on display. Go into settings. Now, scroll down, display and brightness. Again, scroll down, always on display and make sure you toggle off show wallpaper. Now, whenever you lock your iPhone, the screen will go black, hence saving a lot of battery. So now the next is also fairly important because it has to do with location services. So this is how to limit apps from getting access to your location on your iPhone, thus saving battery life. So first and foremost, you need to go into the settings. Now scroll down and go into privacy and security, go into location services and over here you will have list of apps which are using location services on your iPhone. Go into individual app and you can set the permission to never ask next time or when I share while using the app or always. My suggestion would be that you choose never or ask next time for apps which you don't want your location to be shared with as well as also toggle precise location off. So repeat the process for all those apps which you don't want to share your location with and make sure you toggle off precise location except maps because I don't think any other app would require your precise location. Next is to disable background app refresh for necessary apps. Background app refresh allow apps to refresh their content in the background even when you're not using them. This can cause battery drain especially for apps that you don't use very often. So to turn off background app refresh you need to open settings. Now go in general, scroll down 
and over here you will have background app refresh tap on it and as you can see all these apps are refreshing their content in the background and causing battery drain so make sure you toggle off each and every app which you don't want to refresh in the background for example i'm going to toggle off this 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 as well as this this and similarly you can toggle off according to your preferences moving on there are a lot of analytics and feedback sharing going on in the background of your iphone causing battery drain so if you want to stop that all you need to do is just open settings scroll down and choose privacy and security again scroll down and in analytics and improvement make sure you toggle off share iphone analytics this will stop your iphone from sharing unnecessary feedbacks and analytics about your iphone and i think that will save a lot of battery as well because in sharing feedbacks and analytics you require of course processor power as well as data which both consume a lot of battery next the new screen distance feature which got introduced in ios 17 is quite handy in fact but does drain battery on your iphone so if you don't use screen distance feature it is suggested that you turn it off by opening settings app now scroll down and go in screen time screen distance and now make sure you toggle it off so this will limit your iphone from unnecessary usage of proximity sensor and of course other sensor as well thus resulting into better battery life and lastly if your iphone has an oled display which 90 percent of iphone has today i would request you that you always use your iphone in dark mode because dark mode reduces the amount of white light emitted through the display which can help you to save power so simply to turn on dark mode you can open control center tap and hold on brightness slider and from here all you need to do is just choose dark mode or toggle on dark mode and as you can see the dark mode has been turned on and this will save battery for sure now you will ask me why only oled because oled panels has the property of turning on or turning off single pixel itself if the screen is black all the pixels will be turned off thus resulting into better battery life on your iphone so let me know if these tips and tricks worked out for you and if you have any other tips or tricks to save battery off iphone make sure you comment it down and let community know about it and while you are down there make sure you subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every video we post about everything apple and of course about iphone ios ipad os and what not else and meanwhile you can go to the app store download iGeek's blog app enjoy everything apple content and amazing wallpapers i can vouch for on this note this is me samir signing off i will see you in the next one till then tada see ya bye bye and you know what save battery